Hello everyone, great to have your company on Calkine TV. I'm Sage and you're watching The Buzzing Trends. In today's show, we have got you three value stocks under $1 and over 100% returns in the last one year. So stocks in focus today are Amber Tech, CPT Global and Michael Hill International. And we all love discounts, whether it comes in the form of a Black Friday sale or random online coupon from our recent purchase. Investors are no different in eyeing to grab the best bargains on the financial markets. However, unlike conventional shopping, these bargains do not come with the flashy sale sign. They more often remain under the radar to be cherry-picked through the art of value investing. Embraced by the likes of Benjamin Graham and Warren Buffett, value investing has remained as one of the key investment styles to minimise risks while meeting investment goals over time. So what exactly is value investing? It is very important to understand this concept before we jump into exploring the value stocks like Ambertech, CPT Global and Michael Hill International. Well, value investing is a popular approach to investing which involves buying stocks or securities that are quoted at a lower price than what they are worth. In other words, value investing helps an investor identify undervalued securities that are trading below their intrinsic value. And value investing was popularized in the investment world by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd way back in the 1920s. It may seem easy to go out and just buy undervalued securities to become the next Warren Buffett or closer to him, but value investing is not that easy. And the knowledge and skills required to identify the true value of business like Buffett is not a game of mere Excel sheets. Finding the intrinsic value of a share is the most difficult part, which is determined by doing fundamental analysis of the company. And once the true value, which is intrinsic value, has been determined, the strategy then capitalizes on an assumption that sooner or later the market would price that security at its intrinsic value and hence finishing the gap between the current value and the intrinsic value. This valuation gap is a potential profit that a value investor aims for and therefore value investors are constantly on a hunt for securities that in their opinion are trading below their intrinsic value. They also take the opportunity of temporary market reactions which is often caused by a good or bad event such as a recent COVID-19 pandemic to buy stocks at quite a bargain. The assumption behind buying stocks at these knee-jerk reactions is there is no change in the fundamentals of the underlying business and it's just a temporary noise that has created such a value gap. All right. I believe we can now look at three such stocks with a price to earnings ratio under 10. And these stocks have delivered significant returns in the last one year. The first one to look at is Ambertech. Now this company distributes audiovisual solutions in Australia and New Zealand for all types of installation projects. The solutions are catered to broadcasters, content creators, commercial and residential installers, consumer electronics, and musical instrument retailers as well as government and non-government users of communication infrastructure. The company reported solid results for the financial year 21 with revenue from ordinary activities increasing by 36%. And meanwhile, profit after income tax attributable to members improved by over 549%. And it's time for a small break, but stay tuned with me on Calkine TV. Hi, I'm Sage, and get ready to take the crypto ride with me on Calkine TV. Watch the crypto buzz every Tuesday and join the excitement at Calkine TV from Bitcoins to NFTs to Dogecoin and DeFi. We have updates about everything around these digital currencies. Understand the investing rationale and the risks involved in the space with me, Sage, on Crypto Buzz. Keep watching Calkine TV. Hello, welcome back. Sage here. You are watching The Buzzing Trends by Calkine TV and we're exploring three value stocks under $1 and over 100% returns in the last one year. 
And the next value stock to look at is CPT Global. This company provides specialist IT consulting services with its service lines including transformation, assurance and optimization. Significantly 80% of the largest banks in the world have engaged CPT Global. The company's financial performance witnessed a 33% revenue increase. The strong growth was driven by a 51% year-on-year -year revenue increase from the Australian segment. And meanwhile, the company reported a profit of $3.4 million in the financial year 21. And the last stock to take a look at is Michael Hill International. Michael Hill is a multi-channel retail jewellery chain that operates globally. It has a range of stores as well as a digital platform across Australia, Canada and New Zealand. The company's statutory net profit after tax edged up in the financial year 21 to $45.3 million. And Michael Hill saw its digital sales rise 53% to a record $34.8 million. So these are the three value stocks that are trading at a bargain and have given great returns in the last one year. And now as hinted earlier, these value stocks are considered undervalued in the stock market. They have a high dividend yield and a low P.E. ratio. Besides that, value stocks tend to have fewer fluctuations in prices during market highs and lows. And people generally prefer value stocks as these are established firms that would bounce back in time as soon as the investors realize their true value. Value stocks also trade at a price below their peer companies, falling within the same industry group. These stocks are comparatively less risky, but may also take time to turn around, and hence they're considered suitable for long-term investors. However, price fluctuations could be seen in value stocks more than growth stocks. So, if you are an investor with patience, do try and look at the three value stock prices shared today. And on that note, it is time to wrap up today's Buzzing Trends show. Hope you found it informative. Keep watching Calkine TV for more stocks related to insights and the latest market updates. This is Sage signing off.